Hey everybody, it's Flashflare. And Yumi the Yoshi Tamer. And today we are back with more Donkey Kong Country 2. We are going to be heading into Haunted Hall. A very unique and spooky level. Only one of its kind. Yes, as you'll soon see as we head down this treacherous track. Big treacherous track. <laughs> yeah, cackle. Nobody knows quite what kind of crumbling he was, but everybody knows that he's extremely creepy and stay away. Yep, and the plus barrels, good. Minus barrels, bad. Right here, you want to defy your first instinct. Jump over that and go in there. The first bonus. You want to defy two of your first instincts. Twice. So you can collect these bananas under the little panels. But everything is just about to get a little step harder, because as soon as you touch this plus, don't worry, you won't run out of time, you will reverse backwards and be able to jump on the rails backwards, which will give you another crumb coin if you are diligent. Yep, and here you go. Don't cool down yet, because you gotta get those fingers ready for another bonus. This bonus level is a lot easier than the other one, though, but just be sure to keep your wits about you as you collect all the stars. It may seem like a lot, but there's more than enough stars if you just keep trying. Yeah, really, I think there's like way more than you have to do. Look, watch. So there you go, 53. Now. That was the end of Cackle. He's got a couple brothers, or whatever you want to call them. This guy, you want to get all the plus barrels, and that's the only thing there is, but your time is short. You'll see later what happens if you run out of time. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Alright, but if you can get to the gate, you will safe. From all Cackles, because Cackles hate gates. He had bad experience. More like he shuts them the gate and die. <laughs> now this guy, the key is avoiding all the minus barrels you can. You're allowed to hit at least two in some parts. But it depends on what they are. And how fast you're going in what parts. But, as you can see... Whoa. Uh -huh. scary. Yeah, very scary. Okay, so now it's my turn. You want to jump like that. Get right in there. Don't go up on the top rail. And... This is a very, very... Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it's tough because you have to anticipate the jump, so we're going at high speed. Very high speed. And don't worry, it won't quite, quite one out of time. <laughs> quite one out of time. <laughs> okay, here we go. The last cackle. This has both plus and minus. And contrary to popular belief, he is not as hard as his yellow, yellow brothers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. And we got all the common lives. Perfect. So, we got 12 lives and 12 seconds back there. Ooh, it looks like it might be close, but bam. His finger shot once again. Oh. Forever haunted with that. That poor. But what about the DK coin? Oh no, did we miss it? <laughs> <gasps> there it is. You have such a bad. <laughs> Everybody could tell that we were about to get it. Really, post in comments if you were fooled or not. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to be a smart Alec Thompson. Okay. So here's Gusty Glade after we check to see that we've got everything and say hi bye, Cranky. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Got any banana cream pie? <laughs> yeah. Now, you want to go up there, but you need your teammates, so I've got to get to my little brother. <laughs> Which is actually Diddy's Dixie's boyfriend, or whatever. So you go up, and there's readily uh, your favorite snake friend. Yep, your only snake friend too. <laughs> He's actually a bit difficult to control in this windy weather. The wind will pick up at opportune times and go different directions. You want to use it to your advantage, and you got to be careful. Stuff like that will happen. If but you can get the banana coin. Yes. And remember, Rattley can also double jump. Yeah, but we don't really use it here. Yeah, wow. it's easier to to go through the whole stage without Rattley because we didn't quite realize this yet, but um, you can do everything, the bonus barrels, the DK coin, and everything you need to do with the comms, so don't worry about Rattley. Yeah, he's nice if you want to try to get the prize at the end, but I don't even think we did that. The prize you get for bringing an animal buddy to the stop. No animals. Oh, uh, I wonder what the prize is. I 
think it's a life, but you jump up and down for a while, and then you double jump to save yourself. And you go back and forth to see where the wind picks up and go. There. This is where I realized, what am I doing? Why do I need Rattly? Yeah, you need to get off to pick up the treasure chest to get the K. Then you can go on, pretty much. It's hard to pick up these parts because of this bounce. Um, yeah, don't take them on nature. these parts. And don't freak out, there's no wind. Yes, thank goodness. I know. Usually thinking of rare, they would probably put gale wings here. Yeah, totally. You know rare, they don't usually cut players slack, but here's a rare occasion. <laughs> okay. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks it's funny, what are you talking about? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Careful of those spinies. Just slide them. Don't let them. Easy. Just slide them. Now it says A for Rattly. No, no. Yeah. And you can also team up with your partner, though, so don't worry. But first, you need to get your partner to team up with them. Yeah, I try to fly up there, but it's not quite high enough. So I go on a bit, see if I can go back. Save. Look out for the cannon. By surprise. It's funny that he's got enough weight <laughs> to keep him there. Yeah, he won't get blown thing. around. But for some reason the cutlasses don't get blown around either. I guess they're swords. Yeah, they're swords. So make it swords useful. Open this can, buddy. <laughs> and then you go over again. Use the wind to- Whoa! Use the wind <laughs> to your advantage. And team throw up there. Yep. Perfect. I said perfect. Alright, now. So, now we're going to go into another find the token. And this, Yumi, has a quick fail that. Do not hesitate. Yeah, I hesitated. Got psyched out. I'm ashamed. So, luckily, you can just try again. And that will be very quick. Now, this one, I think she like beat the world record for in speed or something. I don't know. It's <laughs> an epic win, regardless. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 55. That's the slowest barrel ever. Possibly. Once again, you want to get the save barrel. This is one of the first times you get save barrels. Oh. And do not touch cannonballs, kids. Mm -hmm. Not nice. Hurt you. Okay. Go throw it behind you. Way to go. Now, two cutlasses guard these treasure chests. You want to make sure you get the top. Ooh. And do not touch swords either. Yep. And these guys here don't learn. So you jump, and there's the cannonball. Yeah, that cannonball carries you a bit of weight, I guess, so it's harder for the wind to blow you around. But still be very careful with it. Look, the stars here. This is possibly the most merciful bonus barrel that it, there is. You can see that I don't do very good at it at all. At all. But I still manage. Because they give you at least 10 seconds more than you need. Yeah, so chasing that silly little barrel all around. <sighs> yep, fall down, get back up again. No singing. <laughs> it's against the rules. I know. I know. And there we go! 56. With 11 seconds to spare. And we'll kind of fade out. Not you want the wind to be blowing for you when you jump to those hooks. Yes, because if it's blowing against you, you will fall. Here's another cannon. Follow the pattern, jump on his head. Okay, now we're to these barrels. Just make sure the leaves are going the right way. How can the zinger not get blown? I don't know, they must be strong flyers. Now you want to be at the top here. If you manage to fall down and you have your partner, you're in luck. But you need Dixie for this part. Fly over, there's the Dixie. Maybe a double jump in the wind would kind of feel good. Uh, maybe. Now here, you do not want the wind to be blown. No way. You want to wait until it stops, and then you can try to go across. Yeah, it'll be just right. And here's the prize. But! We didn't get it. Oh, but we well. were just glad to complete the level standing. So now, finally, it's time for Rinkaway. Yeah, we're pretty glad to see her, actually, since we didn't save before we beat King Zing, and if we would have lost, that would have been bad. Very bad, because we would have gone back to other places. Yeah, before we beat King Zing. 
probably still at Remedy Rumble. Yeah, I saw that one on Remedy Rumble. But oh, <laughs> now we party by walking around like place first. And now parrot shoot panic. One of the shorter. Oh, I don't know if it's shorter. Remember these hive levels? Yeah, and you did see the DK coin. Don't worry, we'll show you how to get it at the end. Yep. Here is a new parrot buddy. I think he is called Flapper. There's a debate as to whether he's Flapper or Quox. Um, Quox appears in 3, and he's later discovered that he's even named Quox in Barrel Blast for the game. Wait, what am I thinking? It was supposed to be for game. So, now you can see that we went through a level warp, and it doesn't take you very far, though. That's, that's why it's so easy to find. Yeah, and those bananas were in the simple of rare. Yeah, but the reason why we don't know if it's the parrot is the same as Quox is because Quox is like a darker shade of purple. And Clapper is purple. Lighter shade, so say he's blue. Yeah, we thought it. <laughs> but I always saw him as a very light purple. But regardless, I think fans just stick to calling him a flapper since he's one of the weaker of the parrot buddies. So he can only carry Kongs downward and then drops them after a while. I'm sure we're glad he's here because this would be near impossible without him. Yep. You can see how big bees are. Parrots can go into their hive. And <laughs> nobody knows how that was possible. We went through the last step of the ground. Yeah, always be holding to the left after you drop down that part. And press X to get off your animal button. Find the token. Now here is one of the easier bonus levels once again. I don't know why they're getting so mean here. There's squawks. Yeah, and you'll also find squawks. You can see a comparison of them when you get out of the bonus level. They're right next to each other. Yeah. I went blind to the ground. <laughs> Very odd. 57. So now we are. You see them side by side? Boom. <laughs> he dies. Can't go past there. You can never see his brother or cousin or whoever that is. Because somebody had to stick, stick a sign there. And you know, you have to avoid obey signs. They always put in those kids' shows that you're supposed to obey signs. It ruins people's lives. He couldn't go that way, and the Spocks couldn't go the other way. Woo! That's a big drop. And there's your star barrel, and we'll stare at the hive for a little bit, and we'll bubble gum. Yeah, just to, to add to the hole. stickiness. Yeah. Okay, here's another flapper. Lots of flappers. Holding the up button is your best friend when it comes to really tight places, because that'll make you fall slower. And of course, holding down will make you go faster. There's only a few times you want to do that. Yeah, you probably don't want to do it in this level, though, unless, of course, you're passing right now. zingers like here. Yeah, this is when it becomes useful. Go over so that spiny doesn't catch you by surprise. And here is a big honey wall, which you'll need to climb up. Yep, stick to the honey. And there is the next bonus room. Okay, now we're going into another destroy them all. Again. For some reason, Yumi can't skip the screen. I'd keep trying, I don't know. He seems to be the only one that can do it. I press all the buttons. But. Yeah, for some reason, too blurry. It's too blurry. It's too blurry. It's very well, anyway. So, you get the idea. Shoot all the ziggers and eggs. And yes, you do want to lose Grox right away. At first, I was wondering. Then, yeah, you get the TNT, get that last one, boom. Mm -hmm. 58. And now we're back on our way. You'll see a little bit there, but... <laughs> yeah, pay no attention. Yeah, that one, that one. <laughs> After the end, it's a very tricky twists and turns of zingers. So, you'll want to fall down the right passageway here. If you want to get all the coins and bananas, but... If you're low on coins, you can take that, but if you're not... Hold up there, you can touch their wings as long as you don't touch the spines. <laughs> I got a little skippy there with the frames, but... Yeah, we were dropping frames, so we were afraid we might lose this, but everything corrected itself. So we were partying that we didn't lose all the frames, and forgetting that we were still recording. <laughs> Here goes Diddy, look out for Clampton. And now I've got Dixie, and I'm gonna pour over up there. And so she can come back down. Yep, because everybody likes to do that, and we were very lucky there. Yep, here's Flapper again. And they do more of those annoying zinger up on top, zingers on the bottom that are very hard. Your 
precision has to be just right, you can get hit from either end. Yeah, they do that quite a bit in this level I hit up. Huh, <laughs> two flappers right there. Drop one and into another's talons. This is kind of tricky. Just Barely. hold the up and you'll usually be okay. But if you're Flash Flare, you will not, because Flash Flare is no good at this game. <laughs> oh, come on. You're pretty good at it. These little zingers are kind of tricky. Big zingers. Yeah, big zingers, I guess. But they don't seem so big after the Sea King's Yeah. And he'll drop you right there, and that'll be your cue to get out of the hive levels for the rest of the game. If you want to get the prize, do that little banana, it'll turn into a barrel and whatever. And we almost forgot. The DK coin, which we told you we would get later. Yeah. Here you go. You need Dixie for this. Diddy can just grab her with the double jump. And then float down, holding to the left. And that will... Eureka. 26 DK coins. Or out of 40 in all, so... Yep, and before we forget, we promised you, after we save, that we were going to do Swanky, but we didn't get to it last week. Yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> we totally forgot that we were going to do Swanky, so we apologize. So we're going to be taking Funky's plane, I think, for the first time in the game. Yeah, he surfs in the air, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah. Okay, you take his barrel plane and fly back to Crazy Kremlin. Zoom up through there. Past Cranky, and there's Swanky. So, hi there, Kong. I've got some amazing prizes just waiting to be won. Yep, Rick, please, winner. What is the name of this area of the island? Remember, you're in Crazy Kremlin now. Yes! Let's play on. What color is your parrot buddy? He is red, green, and yellow. He's talking about squats. Because we haven't seen Fox yet. We're not supposed to. What is the name of the two companies that produced this game and Donkey Kong Country? And we all know. Rave and Kong. <laughs> the dynamic duo of Rare and Nintendo. Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Crazy <laughs> What is the name of the first wasp hive level in this area of the island? Hornet Hole. That's what I'm looking for! Next one, please. What is the name of the old lady Kong who runs Kong College? <laughs> Crinkly. Yeah, it's it's wrinkly. <laughs> That's correct. Which of these items is not found at Clubbus? So we didn't go there, but it's actually a picture of Karul, oddly. We have a winner here tonight! The Boom Booty. What is your snake buddy's name? Rattly! Well done, let's have another one. What color waistcoat does old man Cranky wear in the Monkey Museum? It's green, if you want to know. Okay, try this one. Which of these enemies have you not seen yet during this area of the island? Now remember, at this particular level, it was Cat O' Nine Tails that we didn't see yet. Yeah. You fancy a game? You know my name! 